Welcome to Encana Drive Safe. We're here today with Dr. Louis Francescuti, an Albertan and world-renowned expert in the areas of injury control and safe driving. Welcome, Dr. Lou. Thank you very much. So I have a question right off the top. How does a professor at the Faculty of Medicine and Dentistry become a world-renowned expert in the uh, subject of uh, safe driving? Well, when I first started training after medical school, I was in general surgery. And on my neurosurgical rotation, I remember very clearly going into the intensive care unit and seeing eight young guys, and they were all males, that were lying in beds with uh, serious brain injuries or spinal cord injuries. And I turned to the neurosurgeon, the attending staff man, and I said, what's going on? And he said, welcome to Alberta. This is what we see every summer. And that picture has uh, been reproduced over and over again, no matter what province or state you go to during the summer months. Uh, people are getting hurt at an alarming rate. And so when I looked into it further, I found that there was a great emphasis on treatment of trauma, but very little emphasis on its prevention. So after four years of surgery, I decided it would probably be best to try and prevent injuries than spend my, the rest of my career patching them up. So I changed from um, surgery to preventative medicine, emergency medicine, with a focus on trying to prevent injuries as opposed to just treating them. So can you give us some idea of the, of the numbers, the stats in both Alberta and North America? Well, when you take a look at injury deaths, both intentional and unintentional, under the age of 45, the leading cause of death is injury. And under the age of 35, the leading cause of death is motor vehicle related. So it could be motorcycle, it could be bicycle, it could be pedestrian, it could be motor vehicle. And uh, when you take a look at industry, for example, the leading cause of death in industry is transportation related as well. So the problem is driving has been made so safe and comfortable that we all think we know how to do it. And yet very few North Americans know how to drive properly. Are those injuries and deaths, are they preventable in your opinion? Yeah, they're all preventable. If you take a look at uh, injury related deaths, the motor vehicle collisions, for example, there's a matrix that we can apply to it called the Hayden's matrix, pre-event, post-event, and at the time of the event, and you look at the agent, the host, and the environment, both physical and social, and there's 12 boxes, and we can always identify why these events occur. So they're preventable, all yep. these deaths and injuries we're talking about. Absolutely. Well, I imagine there's a number of causes that can come together to result in an injury or a preventable death. Yeah, and you don't have to be an expert. I mean, members of our audience probably can tell you exactly what's required to prevent these injuries from occurring because they've got enough life experience even you know the 13 14 year olds as opposed to the 60 year olds can tell you what needs to be done 